Hello everyone, my name is Miguel Ordoñez. Today I'm gonna introduce you a playlist of videos that will try to teach you how to use WinCC Explorer version 7.4. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like it. By the way, there is a similar playlist made in Spanish, but I think now it's time to explore the English community in the channel. Anyway, please enjoy the video. First, I will open the Cinematic WinCC Explorer, which is the software that we are going to use during these whole videos. I am using the version 7.4, which as far as I know is probably the most updated one. I'm not completely sure about it. If someone can share their knowledge with me, it would be perfect. Uh, usually this kind of projects take some time to open because when you open WinCC Explorer uh, this program immediately opens your last project that uh, was in the computer in my case it is my thesis I, grad I was I'm graduated from Politecnico di Milano like just one week ago more or less and I was working on it. Um, any, anyhow, uh, I'm gonna start talking about this. It has a similar structure as the one you s have been probably familiar in the uh, portal. We have at the left side a uh, project tree in which there are the editors that WCC Explorer uses to work on each of the different features of a project. For example, the first editor is the tag management. If I double click this, you can see that it will immediately open another window. This is perfect because in old versions of WinCC, it used to open on the same first uh, window. And the idea of openness, or sorry, the idea of efficiency in a program is to have independent editors that share information between them. So here you can create uh, not only variables but also the communication channels that um, are going to be used. This is because the SCADA is just a graphical interface that needs to take the data from different automation systems. For that purpose is that you need the communication drives. The other like mm, principal uh, editor is the graphic designer. In graphic designer you can create different PDFs are the names for the uh, screen and will open the home or the main uh, screen of my thesis. On the graphic designer you will be able to add graphical objects which can be static or dynamics in case of being dynamic you can make this dynamic of the object be attached to a variable already created in the graphical sorry already created in the tag editor this and the other editors right here are gonna be used during these videos which I hope uh, you will find useful okay as I was talking about if I go about WCC Explorer here you can see the version of the WCC Explorer that I am using uh, this tutorial pro will probably and uh, mostly for sure be also useful for previous versions I don't remember exactly in which version is that the editors were not um independent completely but okay i think that three or four versions ago it's still the same any case mm, this is the introduction uh, from the next video mm, we will start uh, with a demo and try to do it like mm, one video per week maybe until we finish all this all this tutorial 
Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it, but mostly that it has been useful for you. If you have any comment or suggestion, please write it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the content, because this helps me to create more videos for you. In case you need uh, any help, here you can contact me by mail or whatsapp. It is all for today, bye bye.